All right, he house uh, no healer, no dr dreamer. That's it. Just listen to beggars talking about a a um healer that was unwanted. It was like. I had a rather profitable case of leprosy, and then this guy comes up, funny and about, up he comes and heals me. Like, I never asked for that. <laughs> oh, the dialogue in this game is brilliant sometimes. Just passing by, wanderer, or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Maybe you have a squatter. Probably a squatter. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black ones, economically. Right, okay. Now to get a looting. Loot it all, loot it all, loot everything. Your house is my house now. Your house is my house. <laughs> so, what's that candelabra I just picked up? Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Okay, while you do that, I'm just gonna... Yeah, that was a candelabra. Go away! Don't. Leave it! Oh, it's a godling. It's another one of them godlings. Okay. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. <sighs> All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, yep. please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Why would you ask them not to spill blood? Like, I Stop. have no idea. Woman, I'm looting. Well, that's the way to the attic, so what's in this one then? Get some stuff to loot. Never a bad thing. I'm gonna have to go to like every shop in town to find someone that can buy all of it. Where are the next rooms blocked? Why do you keep taking down your torch? I never asked you to put it away, girl. And there we go. 
Set that alight, because why not? Good old Ard fixes everything. All of the looting. I picked up a drawing. And there's a doll. I'll pick up that doll in a second because I don't trust what's going to happen. Water in a chest. Jesus, there's so much. If I didn't get that loot upgrade, I'd be screwed. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got here. Wrong one. There we are. We got a doll. And we got a drawing. So the doll goes in the crib. Okay. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. And Ghost would either be happy or go insane. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! That shit's rocking by itself, man. That is not cool. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. It's probably downstairs. Yep, yeah, there we go. First off, do what needs to be done. Igni that shit, man. Or is there something in there? Boo! Yep, yeah, Godling. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. I'm going to go ahead and ask why. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Um... I'm gonna go ahead and say you, little girl, need to stop being a bit of a bitch. Because this shit is not going to fly. Like, at all. See, now I want to do this the nice way, but you just won't let me. What will you do to me, eh? I'm going to throw hey. you out, girl. Hey. Burdock. Godlings hate the scent. 
How would you like a whiff? You're stupid and a pig. Thank you. I gotta get some burdock and I'll be right back, girl. It'll kick your ass out of here. Ain't got time to mess around, no kids. When I get back here, oh boy. The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. I mean, that's, that's another use for it, but that's not why. Nope. There we go. Now, what am I going to get burdock? Am I going to harvest it or am I going to go just find a uh, alchemist or a herb seller? Yep, I'm going to a herb seller. Okay. Get off. I'm not even on you. What? Oh. Hey, herbalist, what's up? A good one to you, young man. Hairs all agree, but by your face and straight back, I know you to be in your youth. Greetings. What do you sell? Herbs, young lad. I've all sorts gathered near about. You'd be surprised what useful plants grow by the roadside. Not that surprised, actually. Monk's hood, for instance. Lovely blossom. Soothes aches and pains with just a handful, and you could poison a whole family. A very useful plant. Yeah. What else would you recommend? Have a look, young man. You seem learned in these matters, so I'll show you my special stock from under the counter. Sure. You just might. I've got some stuff to sell you anyway. Oh, you won't take any of it. Oh well. Fine. Why you gotta be so rude? Oh yeah, I could sell like furs and stuff, can't I? Well, apparently not. Okay, well, never mind then. I mean, there's all these, but now nah, if I really, if I really need them, I'll come back. Take care. Thank you, sir. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna burn some shiz. I'm gonna kick that gal out. <coughs> Alright, let's get cooking. I said let's get cooking. Do I actually have to ignite? You pig! Trying to suffocate me! You oaf! You dog! Someone will do the same to you one day! Take this stupid ass! You bird-docking bully! Ah, oh, boo-hoo. Boo-hoo, I, I lit a plant. You're tormenting a woman. You're tormenting a woman. What's up, Missy? Who are you? Triss Mary. Your savior. To see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream, well, it was all too real, and not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you, very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help, but I'll need to clear my head first. 
After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. All right. Probably gonna... I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna cut these things up, so I'm gonna have an ending here. And if not, then I'm just gonna look like an idiot, and you'll see that. And if so, then what end it here? Yeah. Truth is, we're all I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite? Burn some nah, it's good, mate. in the stove. Godling couldn't stand the smell and fled, and Corrine simply awoke. Anyway, house is clean. Excellent. I must admit the experience has put me off the building. I shan't keep it. I'm mindful of the reward I owe you, and you'll receive a sizable commission. As soon as I'm, I'm able to sell the house. Come by from time to time and ask. The de Yonkiers never break their word once given. Thanks. All right, I'll be back then, sir. Because I want that money. I want that gold in it. I want to make it rain. Make it rain on. I don't think Yennefer would need it. I don't only want to make it rain on Triss. I would say make it rain on the prostitutes, but I mean, Geralt's technically a married man, so. I, I don't know. Make it rain on the barkeeper so I can keep getting drunk, I guess. I, I don't know what Geralt would. Like, what would Geralt do in his spare time when he's not killing monsters? And sleeping with women. Like what would what what is what is what does Geralt do? Oh hang on. Okay, the game shitting itself. A witcher? Oh. Hear about the notice by chance. Yeah, sure. Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage. Across the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. And the witcher's shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Alright, sure. Next time I go back to complete the um, the fist fighting, because I never did that. And also the... Something about the Taylor Two Brothers or something. When I go back, I can do that. Alright then. What's up, buddy? Oh, wait, you're an innkeep. You have Gwent cards to buy. You have Gwent cards to buy, sir. What are you serving? I'm just go ahead and buy that, buy that, buy that, buy that. And I'm just going to sell. I don't want to sell these. I want to keep them. Like, they're useless to me now, but I want to just keep them. Because you never know. Except when you do know. What, what do I what do I need money for at this point, really? Farewell. If anything, I was just doing that to get rid of inventory space. She's upstairs. Where's the stairs to go upstairs? There's stairs to go downstairs. Where's stairs to go upstairs? Uh, There's stairs to go upstairs. No There's enemies outside.
Before I go in there, let's go in here. Oh god, the loot. Oh god, I can't. I can't. I, I, I need to control myself in some way. Hey, what's up, babe? Let me just steal your honeymoon. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Sure. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. I'm just interested in all of this. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Y yes, I, w I want yes, to hear all of this. I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Yes, woman. I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. 
That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. I want to know more about, about you coming back to life, though. That's never really been touched upon. You just sort of died and came back and everyone was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, is that in the books? Is that, is that ever... Is, is it ever found out how you come back to life? That's, that's a thing I need to know about, girl. That's a thing I need to know about. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? I mean, I have more options. Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control. And frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? Sure, why not? Unless yeah, you're going to use this all against me. Something else. I'm just in it for the dialogue, they really. I want to learn the law. of space and time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places. And that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. No, Can that's about start? it. Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone. The emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable. And try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Why Dandelion? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Siri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot. Did they? This is news to me. The fact that she actually went to Dandelion is amazing. Or at least that I'm dreaming about her. Him. Dreaming about Dandelion. the dreams can multiply show the past as well as the future the swallow it symbolizes Siri she contacted dandelion I didn't know he was in town the poet heard about him someone left in the rosemary and time in their will the rosemary and time where's that as you enter the city through the red light district you come upon a bridge the rosemary is just past it Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. You know what? I can believe that. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. 
Thank you, ma'am. Do you have anything else for me? Yes. Uh, nope, you have nothing else for me. Okay, we're gonna go see an old friend in a brothel. <laughs> After, you know, my time I already spent in a brothel. Nope, wrong way. Maybe later. Get out of the way. That's a l strumpet. That is a phrase I've not heard in a long time. Oh, I love that phrase. It's just... Or that word. It's just stupid. What? Oh, it's just thugs. What on earth happened there? What the hell is happening to the game right now? What on, what on that? Why is, why is game dying on me? <laughs> Goodbye. Now I've got a brothel to find. Seriously, why, why is, what is, why, why is game struggling? Why is game struggling? There's a quest in there. Okay, okay, I need, I need, I need to see why the game is suddenly struggling just randomly. Right, I have no idea what was happening. I closed Skype and a few Steam windows, but there's nothing that's taken up. What is? What is going on? Uh, it's locked. How do I get in there? Looking for something like new shit, stupid trap. Se what is seriously? What is going on with this game? He fix it for you. No. Dude, dude, you got a quest for me. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Belie me. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori. Former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? I mean, about these swords. <laughs> Alright then. Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Well, I mean, about, about these swords. Looking for a good swordsmith. No one. <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. I don't know who either of these people are. Ernst Van Horn. 
Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... Well, you miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld <laughs> control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Yeah, sure, why not? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggar's men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. I'm fine with that. Underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. A bit much, but we'll see. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. Well, Dandelion can wait because I want to do this. So I'm going to end this here and we are going to have side quests. Side quests for like two episodes or so, I don't know. I'm feeling side questy. So we're going to have side quests and then we're going to go to Dandelion.